Okay, this is part three in a three-part series on C-sharp events and delegates. And in this video, we're going to try and get a little bit better understanding about the fairly complex uh, event and delegate code in .NET. Uh, they've got a lot of functionality in each line of code, and it can get kind of confusing since, it's, since each line is doing a lot of things. We're going to try and break that down to understand a little bit better what's actually going on. So here's the diagram that we use to design our um, image manipulation code in part two. And you can see we've got the main Windows application form, a file operations, and the image manipulation class, which uh, modifies an image and sends out an event when the image has been modified to let everybody know, hey, I finished modifying the image. If you want it, you can go grab it. And in red here is all of the code we had to generate to make all that uh, event handler stuff work. And you can see we've got there, our main form is the subscriber and the publisher of the event is the image manipulation that tells everybody that the image has been manipulated. So let's go in and look at each of these um, functions that need to be performed in the, in the two classes. So we'll start with the main Windows application form. We said there are two main functions that need to be performed. One is our event handler. When a, an event happens, it's going to fire off this event handler. And in this case, it's going, the event handler is going to be notified that the image has been modified. And it's also going to grab the modified image. And it's going to display it in the Windows form. And also, the other thing it has to do is we have to subscribe that event handler that we have defined here. And we have to tell the um, event handler delegate the, the list of methods that need to be invoked when the event happens. We need to say, we need to tell it, hey, I'm here. When the event happens, call me and initiate my uh, my method so that I can uh, do this display of the bitmap. So basically we're going to talk about these two bits of code, this subscriber code and also the event handler method. So first the event handler method. So in this method we will receive information about who sent the event, the sender of the event, and also not only we will, will we receive the uh, event notification, but also the um, publisher, the one who is modifying the image, has defined that it will also send out information about the image that it modified. So we can grab that and we can use this image event args to grab that bitmap. And once we have received that as a a uh, property of this event, we can display the image in the picture box. And we will call this display image method in the um, main Windows form application. And we will access the property of this event, which is called e.bmap property. And we will put it in picture box number two. So basically, we're just sending the event in and one of the properties is the location of the bitmap that we want to operate on. And we're also changing the text of the label to say that we received the event handler. So that's basically the event handler in the subscriber, fairly straightforward, uh, receiving information about the event and using that to access the bitmap and display it. Now to subscribe, what we need to do is we have defined here the name of the publisher class instance. Remember, we, we defined the um, image manipulation class. We defined an instance and named it modify RGB. And inside that image manipulation class, we have defined a event delegate called image finished. And image finished is an event that uses an event delegate to notify everybody, including us, that the uh, image has been uh, modified. And so we will use that delegate list 
and we will add our local on image finish, the one we just talked about, this method, we will add that method to the list of subscribers in this image finish delegate list. So all this does is it says uh, image finished delegate equals image finished delegate plus this new on image finished method. Okay, so we're just tacking on our local method to the existing image finished delegate list. Okay, so it's um, a little bit confusing, but once you see that all you do is you're adding your name to a list, it, it, it seems a lot clearer. Now, if we go over to the image manipulation class, we see that it's doing the work, and when it's done doing the work, it will send out the image to this um, the list of subscribers that we just added our name to. And there are two parts of this. There, we have to define the event handler delegate, and then we have to have a method that fires off the event and calls the delegate. To do that, we've got four bits of code. And we'll go through each one of these in a little bit of detail so you understand it. But basically, we have a simple class that we defined called image event args, and it inherits from the system event args. And the contents of this class are very simple. It's just a property, which is a bitmap that you can get or set. Okay, so we're, we're basically adding on to the system event args this, this additional property of a bitmap. We are also defining an event. And we're, we'll talk about this event handler part. But basically, we're defining an event called image finished. And then we have the definition of the uh, event, which is on image finished, which returns a void, and we feed it a bitmap. And this is the code that when you call this on image finished in this um, publisher, it will go out and invoke the delegate and fire off the event and pass it this bitmap. Okay, and then when we are ready to, to fire off this, this method, we just call this on image finished, pass it a bitmap, and, we're, and we actually invoke the, um, the delegate and, and fire off the, the event. So this is the code required to do all this event handling and firing off the event. And we'll talk about that in a little bit of detail here. So the first thing we'll talk about is this event definition, this line right here. What we're doing here is we're, we see we are defining an event, a public event, and we're calling it image finished. Okay, so image finished is an event that we're naming. Now, we are also saying that this image finished event will call any subscribed method on the event handler delegate list, which is what this is. This event handler is a delegate list. And image finish will call any subscriber on this list that looks like this event handler template. So what does that mean? Well, event handler is a .NET shortcut that, that came out in like 2.0 that actually it says this down here. Event handler is the definition of a delegate. So it's a public delegate void event handler with these custom event args that we've defined. And the signature is that you pass it the standard object who sent the, who sent the event and our custom T event args. Okay, so that's what this event handler is. It's a definition of a method. And T event args inherits from the system event args. Okay, so again, we're saying image finished is an event that will call any subscribe method on this event handler delegate list. And the definition of the methods that will, that will uh, be in the subscribers will be that they will be void, return, and they will accept an object sender and a T event args. Okay, so um, let's look at this image event args, the custom event args that we've developed. We said we've got this, we defined this public class called image event args, and it inherits from event args, the system event args. And all it is inside of it is a property 
that you can get or set that is a bitmap. Okay, so we are adding to the system event args a property that contains the bitmap that we're going to send out all, to all the subscribers. So we just, we just set this property and we can pass it out to the subscribers. Okay, so again, an event that uses the event handler delegate list and defines what the methods are going to look like. They're going to be void. They're going to take a, a object sender and an event args. And the event args will include this bitmap property. Okay, so it's kind of a circular reasoning and it does a lot of stuff, but it's uh, fairly straightforward once you understand what it's doing. Now, we also have a method that will contact the subscribers, which is this right here on image finished. We're defining the method that will contact our subscribers when we invoke it. So we've got a protected virtual void and protected just means it's accessible only in this class or in any derived classes. And it's returning void and it's called on image finished as we showed before. We pass it the bitmap and in this case, the um, uh, image manipulation class went through and modified the image and named the, the modified image as bmap, okay? So we are passing bmap into this method and this code will take bmap and it will notify everybody that we're finished. It will send out the event and also pass it bmap so they can access it. So how does it do that? Well, if you start here, you'll see image finished. And we saw that before. That is the event that uses the image, uh, the event handler delegate. And this says if image finished has subscribers to the list of methods. So in other words, if people have subscribed to that event handler delegate associated with image finished, then invoke this image finished event. Okay, so if this is true, that there are subscribers to this event handler delegate associated with image finish, then evoke the image finished event and you will pass that method, the image finished um, method, you will pass it this, which is the object sender, just saying that this object is sending the event. So if anybody who's listening wants to know who sent it, we're telling them it is this object that, that is sending out the event. And also the image event args. And the image event args are what we just showed before, this class, but now we are instantiating that and using it. Okay, so we've got this image event args that has the bitmap. Now we are doing new image event args, so we are instantiating that, and we are setting the property, okay? We said bmap prop is the property in that class and we've instantiated it and we're setting that property to bmap, which is the, the actual name of the completed bitmap, okay? So this is doing a lot of stuff. It's checking to make sure there are subscribers. If so, it's invoking the, the event, which is going down the list of subscribers, passing information on who sent it, and also the uh, passing a reference to this bitmap, which is the completed image, okay? So um, I hope you can, you can get all of that. It's fairly straightforward, but it's doing a lot of stuff, okay? And finally, um, we said we've got, we've done this, we've got, we defined the class, we have the event handler delegate and the method and finally, we are, just, we are just calling this method and initiating this event and firing off the event handler delegate to notify all the subscribers and pass the bitmap. So the final, event, the final um, function here is to call this as soon as the bitmap has been generated, the modified bitmap has been generated, and notify everybody and pass this bitmap. So I hope that helps understand a little bit more about events and delegates and take care. Have a good day.